guys, welcome back to V Vlogs. I feel like whenever I see myself in my glasses, it looks like I belong in Hogwarts, which isn't a bad thing, but sometimes I'm like, is it too much? Does it suit my face? Do I look like Harry Potter? So in today's video, I am doing a little craft with me type thing because lately I have loved doing DIY projects different crafts and because it's spooky season I have a lot of inspiration and so I want to do these really cute kind of oddity jars with things in it and you'll find out and I also want to make some more ghost necklaces so I'm gonna take you along with me for that today but first we have to show you something very very important okay last week when we went shopping we didn't show it but we went to a pet store and we found Tumnus a very good Playing object. Oh my goodness. I was like, what is that? That scared me. So we're gonna take you outside. He gets so excited for this. So wait until you see how hyped he gets. But it is like our new favorite thing to play with him. So let's show you. Drop it, buddy. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Bring it to the house. A good boy. Look at these cute little ghost jars. I have decided to sell them separately because people love them so much. So thank you. So I'm gonna be finishing them off today. I put a Jesse V charm on every single one. These ones are little engraved things that go on the clasp. And then to protect them, I have these little bubble wrap bags that are the perfect size for them to go into. And upon that bubble wrap, I put a cute little Halloween sticker and I found this roll on Amazon and it was so good because it has like 500 stickers on it and there's like crows, there's a cute little ghost hot chocolate, a skull and yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I also got these little pretty Halloween bags for them all to go in and they have like different color spider webs on them. So today I am just going to be probably making 200 of them <laughs> to put into bags. And what's cool about this like sort of solo launch is that some of them glow blue and some glow green. And to be honest with you, I don't even know which is which while looking at it. I'd have to like test them out in a dark room. But these glow so well, I am so impressed. And what's cool is that Ty is going to help me make jumbo versions of these. And by jumbo, I mean like in jars this size. <laughs> but I think it'd be really cool because I wanna start making sort of like curio cabinet oddity jars, if that makes sense. And so we wanna do the ghost in the jars and I'm also gonna be doing a second craft today, but let's get this done first and then I'll show you what I'm doing next. By the way, this is a little bit embarrassing, but while I do crafting, I like to have nostalgic shows on. So I already watched 90210, the one from like 2010 or whatever. Then I watched Pretty Little Liars, the entire, like all, I think it was seven seasons while doing the second button box launch. And now I'm gonna watch Teen Wolf. Okay, not the old one, cause that would be weird. Well, not weird, but you know, the character design is a little bit strange on that one. Okay, a little bit laughable. I'm watching the newer one. So the one that came out in, I think 2011. So don't judge me, okay? Nostalgia is fun while crafting.
Okay, so now for the oddity jars, which are definitely going to be a lot more complicated and more crafty than the necklaces. So I got these cute little cork jars and what I'm putting inside are the pocket pumpkins that I had left over from the button eye boxes. I had so many left and I was like, what cool thing can I do with them? So I thought, I. I got this like mini garden set that is obviously meant for like, I don't know, doll houses or something, but they're really, really well made. They feel like real wood, even though they're not. So I thought I would take the seat of the garden set and make it act as a stump to put the pumpkin on, which will go inside here. And I'm gonna cover the bottom of this in fake grass. And I also got these really cute sets of little like flowers and bushes and grass bundles so I can make the ground of this look more realistic and cutesy and each pumpkin will have like different color flowers so not every jar will be the exact same. And then I thought it would be fun to give each pumpkin a different name but I want it to kind of be like, I don't know, vintage Victorian like Edward and I don't know, I can't think of other names right now but each pumpkin will have a different unique old style name, I guess you could say. And I'm gonna put like a little tag on it and then I wanna put it in a cute box and like kind of wrap it up really cute and then put like a pumpkin charm on the top. Like I wanna go full out with these oddity jars, but I know they're gonna take a long time and I know they're gonna be difficult. I haven't made one yet, so we're gonna see how this goes. All right, so I got a paintbrush. I have the pumpkin jar and I'm going to pour some glue. Keep in mind, I don't really know what I'm doing yet, but <laughs> we're gonna see how well this works. I did do one sample and I think it's good. And then I'm just gonna spread it over the bottom of the jar just so that when I pour in the grass, it sticks nicely. And then I'll just like dump out the ex 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 excess once it's nice and gluey. And then I cut the corner off my little grass bag. It's actually more of a moss texture, which I like more because it's nice and fluffy and it'll cover more space and just push all the grass around so it sticks to all the glue. All right, so I have this little discard pan and that is what we are left with. It is so cute. And now we are going to hot glue the bottom. This part I am so nervous about because I don't want to burn myself, so. Well, this is the hard part because now I have to try and get it in in the perfect center. So I'm just gonna drop it. That's not bad. And then I have some tweezers and I'm gonna push it down and make sure the glue sticks well on here. Okay, and now I have all my little flower and grass tufts and this is gonna be difficult because I'm gonna have to take the tweezers again, get a little bit of hot glue on it and then put it around the little tree stump. By the way, I love how the entire time my background is just of the Teen Wolf show that I'm watching. Don't mind me. Alrighty, here we go, first tuft. And you can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh no, it didn't work. Okay, adding more glue. Oh no, my stump is moving. Oh no. Okay, so I figured it out, but it required me to mix the colored tufts with the grass, which I don't mind. Like, I think it actually looks sort of more natural that way. I just don't think the tufts are gonna work for this, but I, I might ask Ty to help me when he gets home. <laughs> so now we're gonna hot glue in our pumpkin friend. That is some hot glue. And we're gonna push down and hold. He's so cute. Look at him in his little house. All right, now we are going to hot glue the top onto this little guy. Okay, so what do you guys think? This is the first one. I don't think it's too bad and it's like super firm. It's not going anywhere. And so now I just need to decorate it and wrap it up. All right, so I've named him Edgar. <laughs> he has a cute little pumpkin charm and this cute little orange bow. And I think he's so cute. Now he did take me an hour to do, so I need to figure out how to make this much easier. I'm gonna ask Ty, he is the miniature king. Inspection is being commenced. What do we think? You did a pretty good job. I do have some corrections I need to make though. Okay. 
I am far from a miniature king. One, I'm very tall, and two, when it actually comes to miniatures, I'm maybe a peon at best. All of these you did a really good job. Going through your crafting though, like your tutorial that you just did. Chaotic. I can tell what your one enemy is right now. Camera You're trying position. Trying to rush through this because doing all of this stuff, especially dealing with basing materials and especially light flocking like this, yeah. you need to let it dry before you try and stick stuff to it. Okay. <laughs> so I brought up some examples because having a claim of being a miniature king, I need to at least show what I can do. So we have two little minis here that I've worked on. One I've sculpted, well, at least most of it I sculpted, and there's basing on it. You can see very simple, but all those little tiny rocks and grass tufts, I waited 24 hours in between. So we need to work on your workflow. All right. You got these little tiny guys here. Just gotta let it dry, take your time, because if you try and rush things, that's when you'll end up with the unfortunate issues of these, which do not pass the test, unfortunately. No, that's in the discard pile, don't these worry. These are in the discard pile right now. Okay. There's no rush. I know people are excited, but much like, you know, a lot of my hobbies, video games in particular, if stuff gets rushed out, it's not as good. Take your time with it. Okay. It'll be fantastic. Idea, perfect. Execution, not we're working on it. <laughs> not quite there. <laughs> no, we're working on it. It looks good. It looks good. So I'm going to help you out. Okay. Especially with like the little tiny details. We have those tweezers because my fingers aren't fitting in any of these. We'll wait for them to dry maybe tomorrow. Okay. And we'll get them sorted for you. But in the meantime, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I'm really bad at outros. Thank you for tuning in. See you guys later. Bye. Late at night while everyone else in the world is asleep, a little doll is excited for Halloween. Jessaline has been working away making button eye boxes for girls and boys far and wide, so they may see into other worlds as she does. This time she's added some spooky touches to match the season. Witches, skeletons, and bats galore. But that's not all. She's captured some lonely ghost friends and placed them into jars for you to keep company. They glow in the dark to bring some light to your nights. It's her gift to you. Only available on jessiev.com for limited time. What color will your button eyes be this Halloween?